click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to this video we are with the chapter of microwave engineering where the transmission of microwave signal with the help of strip lines or micro strip lines we have been addressing so far so a brief comparison of the modifications into the strip lines to get micro strip line and the individual strip line we have dealt in the very first video we have solved four problems based on to all these understandings also now we have the knowledge of characteristic impedance the corresponding the quality factor of the microwave transmission line here and also we have reported how the power losses can be there in this transmission of microwave signal so as in the previous video we have learnt about the type of strip line to be a parallel one so the topic it was parallel strip line let us have a simple problem so here we have the problem statement for parallel strip line it starts with a lossless parallel strip line has a conducting strip width w the substrate dielectric separating the two conducting strips has a relative dielectric constant denoted epsilon r suffix d here of the value 6 here in the bracket we have been mentioned what is the type of dielectric there it is berylia or beryllium oxide represented in the chemical notation that it is capital b e capital o and it has the thickness of small d is equal to 4 mm here we are asked to make calculations for in the part a the required width w of the conducting strip in order to have characteristic impedance z0 is equal to 50 ohm in the part b the strip line capacitance in the part c the strip line inductance in the part d the phase velocity of the wave in the parallel strip line so now after reading this problem statement we come to see first of all the information that the parallel strip line which is a transmission line here is of lossless type no losses are to be accounted while solving this particular problem here next to that what are the given details the first sentence is somewhat a descriptive with respect to the parallel strip line as we know the structure from the previous video it has a conducting strip width denoted by w which is to be calculated in the part a now what are the given details the given details are we have the dielectric substrate that separates the two parallel conducting strips and that dielectric is nothing but the berylia or beryllium oxide denoted as bu the value is 6 here so this is the first given value epsilon suffix rd is equal to 6 what is the next given value the thickness is denoted by small d and it is equal to 4 mm so these are the only two given values now we need to determine the value of w in part a and also for part a we have the characteristic impedance z0 is equal to 50 ohm so let us calculate so in the part a for determination of the width denoted by w here we have the formula w is equal to 377 divided by square root of the relative dielectric constant epsilon suffix rd here this is with respect to the dielectric material that separates the two parallel lines i can say and this ratio is in multiplication to the another ratio small d divided by capital z0 the characteristic impedance so as per the problem statement we have all the three values the thickness is also there the relative dielectric constant also we know and the characteristic impedance is also provided so let us substitute it to the right hand side here so it gets to the form 377 divided by under root of 6 to be the epsilon rd here whereas the thickness is 4 mm hence it can be represented as 
4 into 10 to the power minus 3 whereas it is divided by z0 the characteristic impedance is equal to 50 here so we can make a simple calculation for the multiplication square root and finally the division so this gives us the value 12.31 into 10 to the power minus 3 here so as this is width it is a measurement of length so the length is always to be measured in SI units for meters here or else we can also represent the width for the strip line is equal to 12.31 millimeters here so let us outline the answer we have determined here for part a so here this was our problem statement and now we are successful with the answer for part a in the part b now we next switch to make calculation for strip line capacitance strip line capacitance can simply be denoted by capital c so here for part b the strip line capacitance we determine with the help of a simple formula again that has the numerator epsilon suffix d here in multiplication to the width w and it is divided by the thickness small d so hence in the numerator as we have the representation epsilon d here it is the complete permittivity or dielectric constant so that can be represented as epsilon 0 into epsilon rd into w as it is divided by small d to the denominator as it is so therefore we make substitutions here that it is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 in place of epsilon 0 which is to be multiplied by 6 in the place of epsilon rd and here we have the w as the answer from part a just now we have determined that it is 12.31 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 and the thickness is already there in the problem statement that it is 4 millimeters 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 so this computation results for the value of strip line capacitance denoted capital C is equal to 163.50 into 10 raised to the power minus 12. So this is the capacitance with respect to the length here. Hence it is measured in terms of farads per meter. So now the multiplicant 10 raised to power minus 12 can be absorbed to the form representing strip line capacitance C is equal to 163.50 pico farad per meter so let us outline the required answer so now in the problem statement we were asked to determine the four values out of the four we have the two answers now now the next answer is to be de determined for the strip line inductance there so here for part c the strip line inductance can be denoted by the letter capital l and for the determination of capital l we require the three parameters the parameters are arranged in this formula as the numerator having mu suffix c into small d and it is divided by we have w here now as mu is the permeability of the dielectric material so here we have been using here 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 in place of mu there the thickness we have 4 millimeter 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 and it is divided by the width that we have calculated in the part a we have 12.31 into 10 to the power minus 3 here so this substitution of all the values results into the answer for strip line inductance denoted by capital L is equal to 0 0.41 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. So this is the inductance with respect to the length of the transmission line hence it is measured in terms of Henry per meter. So now we can absorb 10 raised to the power minus 6 as capital L denoted as 0 0.41 micro henry per meter so let us outline the answer so in the problem statement 
this was the third answer determined for the strip line inductance capital L here. Now at last we require to determine the value for the phase velocity of the wave in the parallel strip line. The phase velocity can be denoted here simply v sub xp. It is the conventional notation we have carried from the earlier transmission lines. So therefore we proceed to solve for phase velocity into the part D and represent phase velocity vp by the formula we have c divided by square root of epsilon r d here where c is velocity of the light into the air or free space medium so c is having the constant value 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 in terms of meters per second so when it is divided by we have the denominator square root of 6 the relative dielectric constant for the material there so this numerator and the denominator results into the ratio the value we obtain for the phase velocity is equal to 1.22 into 10 raised to the power 8 in terms of meters per second we need to represent it as it is basically the velocity here so this completes our problem parallel strip lines here so i hope a very straightforward way for calculation of different parameters corresponding to the given strip line under consideration it was the problem by the next lecture we continue with the same chapter to address the microwave transmission of the signal with the help of coplanar type of the strip line so for more topics like this for the subject microwave engineering and the concepts you will want to learn or you want to practice several of the problems you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you